to demonstrate the copper tunnel, the patient's hand is supported with rolled up towels to keep slight wrist tension and forearm subination. The median nerve is examined at the level of the pisiform bone. The pisiform is a superficial bony prominence located on the outer side of the wrist copper base. It's attached to the flexor copy on the iris tendon. The opposite side is the scaphoid, which is attached to the flexor copy radius tendon. The transducer is placed transversely between the pisiform bone and the scaphoid bone. After the transducer is placed at the pisiform level, the transverse view of the copper tunnel can be observed. The pisiform appears as a prominent, round, hyperechoic structure on the left side of the screen. The ulnar nerve and the artery lie just radial to the pisiform. We can see the arrowhead marking the hyperechoic flexor retinaculum and the median nerve lying just below the flexor retinaculum. After the median nerve is clearly observed, the ultrasound probe is then oriented to the long axial view. A linear array probe is used to identify the median nerve and the copper tunnel contents. The whole stretch of the median nerve is clearly observed, and flexor tendons are below the nerve. We can observe the median nerve going deeper at the distal hamlet level, so using this approach may provide larger space for initial needle insertion. We start to perform ultrasound guided injection to the copper tunnel. From this still approach, the needle is introduced to the median nerve and the drug particles are injected. Thank you.